Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, what have we got today? This was given to me by um, by a friend who, uh, it's a, a Chinese copy of the, the Milwaukee um, batteries for power tools. Um, he bought it, it failed um, while he was charging it. He gave it to someone to repair um, and it's failed again. So he's asked me if I can have a, a quick look at it. So um, yeah. Let's take, let's open it up and then um, see if we can find out why it's filled again. So, I know the Chinese copies of these are uh, not very good. That's not the screwdriver that I need. That is. Yeah, the Chinese copies of these are not, are not always very good and not very reliable and you've got to be careful um, when you're charging them. Heard different stories from people. Some have said that, that they've never had an issue. Others have said, um, yeah, just didn't work. Failed after the first charge, etc. Um, well, let's have a look. I can see. I can see. I don't want to pull on the circuit board. There we go. So as you can see, the ones wrapped in cardboard were the original ones. These two have been replaced by whoever repaired it previously. Um, and as you can see, let's have a look. Not quite hot enough on the solder iron, um, so it's not very good. Has the spring come off? Um, yeah, so it hasn't. It hasn't tacked very well. So as you can see that that it's not even soldered. It can be difficult because you've got to be careful not to overheat the the cells because they well. Batteries don't like to be heated up, but um, let's see if we can re-solder these. I have got a nice chunky soldering iron, because these do take a lot of heat, but you can't keep it on for very long. Now this soldering iron is huge. <laughs> Absolutely, look at it compared to my finger. Um, this was a very cheap um, model um, it's 150 watt and I don't think it's got any thermal control in it um, in fact I'm fairly certain because that tip once it's been on for five or ten minutes uh, if you turn the lights out that tip is actually glowing red so that's how hot it gets um, yeah it's probably wise to heat it up use it turn it off again I just suspend that from the ceiling in my shed to let it cool down so it doesn't touch anything because you can't you can't put it down on the on the table yeah that's heating up so just while that's heating up again I'm going to show you these these two do seem to have um, stuck but uh, they haven't flowed very well so they could fail in future it's the other side that um is it the other side oh it is that one yeah so that one is moving that one hasn't flowed at all that hasn't flowed very well and neither of those two to be fair but they have stuck I'm actually I wonder if I 
can see underneath. Um, I need somewhere to put this now. Will that, can I suspend it from? No, I can't. Just when I was moving it there, I did feel that get a little warm. So I'm just wondering if there is a little bit of damage to the, the plastic that caused it to short a little bit. No, it looks okay. Maybe it was just me. Figment of the imagination, maybe. Let's give it a try. I'm not too far away from the back door if it does settle out. <laughs> it's lived dangerously. So that's nicely tinned. It hasn't flowed very well either. See if I can get that floor a little better. Seem to have dried quite as um, shiny as the other one. Still not liking that. But it is attached. done this on the other side as well. Let's see what happens. first but never mind yep that's venting Let's get this outside. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little bit of excitement. A um, <laughs> little bit too much heat, I think. Um, I believe they're still outside um, cooling down, but uh, it's a little bit too much heat. So I have removed them from the pack and I have two more here that unfortunately I don't know what capacity these are. Um, to be 
say I don't even know what these ones are in the cardboard tubes. The ones that went pop were 3000 amp hour. Um, I don't know what these are. I'm not sure whether that would um, give me any information as to what they are. So what I thought I'd do, I'd um, try again. <laughs> I'd love to try it. I saw this here. Just goes to show that um, things always don't go according to plan. What I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna that's already got some um solder on. Um but at the bottom, you can see where they were tack welded on. I'm just gonna Sand with some sandpaper. This one I thought I'd try putting a bit of captain tape around the edge to give it a little bit extra protection, see if that helps. Um, don't know. Worth a try. I think I'll do, I'll do that one first and if it works I might um, put some on the other one. Might be a bit too much overkill that one. Let's have a look. alcohol to clean off all of the dust and grime. Got a little bit of a wear mark there, so I'm just going to put some cap and tape around that. Where's my plate gone? Let me check the other one. A little bit there. I think that's going to be fine. That's far enough away, and these have got nice thick cardboard on, so I, I can't see them causing an issue. But they go in that way. I'm going to try a slightly less powerful um, soldering iron this time. I might have to go back to the other one because I don't think this is going to be powerful enough. It's only 25 watt. Um, just trying to find a happy medium, I think. better than I was expecting, given that it's such a small soldier nine. And let's see if I can get a little bit of
I'm not convinced that's the best solder job in the world. Let's get that off there, shall we? Because I've just realised the boo-boo that I made. <laughs> Pay more attention, Derek. Attention. That's hot. Yeah, I'm going to leave that to cool down. I think it will be wise. Try this one. Huh? Not the best soldier in the world for this. As you can see, it's not really making the solder very fluid. Dare I use the bigger solder iron again? On the bottom there. I don't want this to go bang again. Look 
cup and take the pit to work. Yeah, that's not quite so great. Come on. Not really enough thermal mass on this old line to uh, get a good job on that. I am going to leave it tacked on there. Probably can't see what I'm doing here. Just putting a little bit of captain tape because that seemed to work on the other one. It's just captain tape if you don't know what it is, it's just um, it's like a heat resistant tape. It comes in handy for sticking things together, for protecting or shielding things slightly from, from heat. It's not going to stop it, but it's um, it gives it that little bit extra protection let's say just cut that little bit out gives it a bit of insulation and it's not going to melt when I put the soldering iron on it Very well, did I think I need a new scalper blade? There we go. I know the camera positioning is not ideal, but I'm doing the best that I can with the equipment that I've got. As time goes on, and if the channel gets better and I start making a little bit of money, I can invest in better equipment. Not just soldering and things, but um, video and equipment etc I forgot to put flux on again man what are you doing and that's the wrong cell as well what was it me that said pay attention and listening to my own advice. <clears throat> but at least that sold a little more. <laughs> Got 
too much. But as some people would say, you can't have enough spots. I'm not happy with that either, but it'll have to do for now. I may risk, once it's tacked on, even just by a small amount, I might um, risk the other shoulder line again just to touch it, melt it, and let it flow a bit better. Hopefully, it'll not be um, too much heat. As the guy who um, repaired this in the first instance, he did say, don't use it in your power tools because it's, it's not going to be as reliable and probably isn't going to last as long. Um, so he's just going to use it in his Makita radio, which I think it'll be suitable for. Dice with death again. A little bit over dramatic. It's a little bit close to the camera. My apologies. No, my, I didn't even have that on. Waiting for it to heat up. It's not the quickest.
I think one might have the best bit of thermal mass to try and carry some of the heat away from the cell one while it's cooling. Ah, I don't know. It's getting there. Try. Just decide that if it's going to short, it's going to short when I do this side. Trying to take some of the excess solder off because there does seem to be a lot. I know it's a tight fit in the case as well. I think my light is dropping down, so it, yeah, my light's dropping down. So the angle is not great for you guys. Lift it back up. It's my tripod is not working very well. Stay there. Almost melted my tripod as well. Well, the light. I'm going to try and wick some of this away. It's very fine wick, so it may not work. Probably waste a lot of wick in the process. That's better. Try and touch this side just a tad. Again, probably not the cleanest. But it's a bit smoother. Should be able to get that in the case, no problem. And it's, it's, it's fastened. And as I say, it's not going to be using high power um, appliance or tool. It's just going to be using the radio, so it will do the job, I'm sure. And they're a lot stronger solder than what originally was on there. Unplug that. I will go and hang this up. In fact, let's just see if we can see. No, it's not quite dark enough to see it glowing. Right, um, bear with me a second. And it was only shown one bar before. We shown four. That's because these two cells are fully charged. Um, yeah. Let me give. Oops. Pick that up. Give them a bit of a. Wipe to get the excess um, flux off. 
and make it look a little bit cleaner. Be careful when scraping, I don't piece the cutting tape and short the top out. Yeah, the cotton tip does make it look a little bit messy, but it has given it that extra bit of protection. Because it hasn't melted. And if it's going to show anywhere, it's going to show there because you've got the... The, uh, the, the centre is the positive, and this out, bit on the outside, if you take this cover off, is the negative that is bent over slightly. So if it's going to show it anywhere, it's going to show it here. So that extra bit of cotton tip is um, giving it that little bit extra protection. The base, they look nice and solid. Yep, I don't want to force them too much, but that is nice and solid. So, let's put it back in the case. So, we've got the spring. Seem to be in there fully. But the little button isn't pressing now. Why is that? Have I pushed it in too far? Has it not gone in far enough? keep going off to the side and I don't know why. There you go. That's not going to go in any further. So that's all the way. very tight I don't like poking around at things with metal implements have I got a plastic spudgy yes Maybe it's just the Chinese manufacturers not allowing enough tolerance. Because you know, in, in, in China, they think um, copy, copyright translates as copy correctly. Together, but it's awfully snug. I think my camera's dropping down again.
works. Give that back to my friend and um, let's not tell him about it nearly blown up. Eh? But it's sorted now. I'm sure you'll agree that it's another positive fix.